Hey everybody, Dave Basilto, FilmmakingCentral.com, back in Adobe Premiere Pro CS5, uh, the wonderful 64-bit editing system by Adobe, the Mercury Engine, blazing fast, and uh, download a free 30-day trial now. The link is below. Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, some basic editing. We're going to bring in some footage into the viewer, uh, the source viewer. We're going to trim it, and we're going to add it to the timeline. We're going to add a transition, and we're going to do some basic effects. Um, so let's get going. So in here in my video tab, I have my 7D footage. There it is. And let me just clear this for a second. Here would be my source viewer where there's nothing there right now. So what I'm going to do is you can do two things. You can double click, and it brings the footage into the viewer. We'll close that. Or you can just simply drag and bring it into the viewer. Real simple to get assets in to start cutting. So now that we're in here, we're going to uh, start looking. Let me just right click and um, where's my, sorry, I'm going to clear all my markers. I'm going to clear uh, my out point. So now I've got nothing on there. So I'm going to scroll ahead. And I kind of like this right here. So I'm going to set an end point. And what that's telling me is that that's the end. That's where my video is going to start, my clip. It's not going to start back at zero. It's going to start at 2925. So what I do is I press the letter I. You can also, let me just command Z out of that. You can also go right here and set your end point just by clicking this. And there's end. Now I'm going to scroll ahead a little bit, and I'm going to go to there. I like that. I'm going to set my out point. I can just press that, and now I've got an in and an out point. I can also just press O if I'd like. So I use I and O. That's how I work on my keyboard. It's able, you're able to do it just really quickly. Okay, so now I am done. I'm going to bring my footage into the timeline. All I have to do is go right here and press Insert, and there's my footage. You also have the options up here, if you look next to the viewer, uh, the, the size window here. You can also size it here, 75%, 10%, whatever you'd like. I'm always on fit. Um, here, you can this, this piece of film tape, you can bring the video only, and next to it is bring the audio only. So sometimes you might need that. You might just want the video and not want the audio. That being said, if you have brought both in there and you decide you don't want them both, go down here to the video footage you have, right click, and choose unlink, and now let go. And let's say we just wanted the video, I'm going to choose the audio, I'm going to press delete, and it's gone. And let's bring that back, and let's right click, and uh, I'm not sure if I can link it again, let me see. I'm just going to go uh, undo, and now they're both linked again. Okay, so I've got my first file here. Now I need another one. So let me go from here to, uh, let's find another piece of footage. Um, so here to behind the scenes, guys, uh, on some set, which makes no sense, but it's going to be wonderful for this tutorial. So I'm going to use this footage here. Press my in and out key. And let's just say I dragged it down to here. Oh my God, now what? I got this massive gap in between here. Simple, right click, ripple delete. And there it is, nice and snug, as you can see. Okay, so now going from the old world to the new filmmaking world, I'm going to need a transition. So all I have to do is go over here to my effects panel. Remember, it goes from uh, Media Browser Info Effects. So now I'm going to choose a video transition. I'm going to look in my dissolves, and I'm going to choose a cross dissolve. And there's my cross dissolve in there. And we're going to go from there to a nice cross dissolve, as you can see. And if you ever want to do some tweaking on your uh, transitions, all you have to do is double click on the transition. It'll bring up in the effects control. And here you can see what's going on. 
So you can change the alignment. Uh, you can change your start and your end. Uh, if you don't want to see the actual footage, you can uncheck that. You'll just see A and B. Uh, here, up here, you can trim it if you'd like, or you can drag it. It's entirely up to you. So very customizable. Okay, so we've got this great transition going from A to B. And we're pretty much done. Now, um, by the way, look in the video transitions. I, I recommend you playing with them all so you know what they do. Um, you have 3D, you have dissolves, you have um, iris page peels, wipes, tons of stuff in here to play with. Uh, you can also create your own. Uh, for example, if I go into my footage here, and let me just bring my timeline in there. Let's say here I want to do a uh, fade to black. I can just go into my opacity. I can, uh, uh, one of the way I work is I go to the end and I go zero because we're fading out and I'll come in a few frames. I usually go to 10, 20 frames at the most. Change this to 100, sets a keyframe for me. Now we play the, uh, where am I? Now if I play this, you can see we faded to black. So you can make your own transitions, I'm sorry, your own uh, effects like that. Simple to do. Okay, so now um, on this Paladin, uh, on this uh, earlier footage, I may want to do some kind of an effect on it. So um, let's look, for example, in my video effects. And we've got a lot of effects here that we can do. And we're going to do a whole tutorial just on showing you some of the basic effects. But maybe uh, I'm trying to find something that's not going to... Uh, take too much time. Let me just do a nice simple blur. So um, let's go into blur and sharpen and I'm going to add a Gaussian blur to this footage. I just have to simply click on it and drag it over and there it is up in my footage up here. You can see Gaussian blur. So maybe at this point I'm going to want um, to set a keyframe of zero and we're going to go to the end here, and I'm going to blur this out. Maybe uh, we'll go to 25. So it should be getting pretty blurry. So we start from there. Let's press our time, and there it's blurred. Simple, right? And that's it. And, of course, there's color correcting uh, filters in here. There's a lot. There's the ultra keyer is in here. You can do garbage mats. We're going to go over all the effects in another video. But this is how you just bring footage in from your uh, source, uh, pro your project panel into the source monitor to trim from there into the timeline, add your transitions, add effects, add your own fade to black. Really simple to do in Premiere Pro CS5. Uh, download a 30-day free copy today. The link is below, and I look forward to seeing you on future tutorials. Okay, everybody, have a great day.